I know we have a lot of catalysts. We have a lot of things that are already lining up, especially when you look at the regulations, especially when you look at the aggressiveness, you look at how bad, you know, people in high places want this market to be cleaned up from what could be a potential danger on the stability of the financial markets in the U.S. and wants to actually make sure short selling gets a lot more regulated. All right. So on top of that, you also have market conditions. We have a lot of things that are potentially, you know, lining up for AMC to do what it's supposed to do, to do to actually skyrocket and go to the moon so we can actually move forward and actually do whatever we want to do. Maybe some people will stay, remain invested in the stock market. People will move on to other, you know, short squeeze because, I mean, don't get it wrong. Once everything start running in AMC and GameStop, you could be pretty sure that other stocks are also going to do the same thing. All right. Now, what I'm going to... What I want to try to uh, drive your attention, you know, is, okay, among all of these catalysts, I know we shouldn't be kind of married to a specific event or to a specific stock, but when it comes to AMC specifically, well, there are a lot of chances, high chances of what it could bring you life-changing money. No discussion about that. But, but the reason or the number one reason or the catalyst, the trigger, the thing that could actually trigger this from actually skyrocketing, going to the moon, whatever the moon price will be, could, might be for you specifically, you know, and personally, it doesn't matter because once these things start running, it runs. And then everybody will just be on their own doing their own thing about the exit strategy. If you want to know more about that, please check out the video here somewhere. The thing is, We've been putting a lot more, a lot of attention, a lot of focus onto maybe few things. If if I just take the last year for example, you know, we knew that okay, comes what what was happening with Evergrande could be a catalyst. Well, Evergrande is not done, but you don't hear about Evergrande anymore, and it hasn't done much on the stock price. Prove me wrong. Now we were focusing a lot on something else last year, you know the synthetics or, you know, AMC uh, accepting cryptocurrencies as a form of payment, what did he do? Barely anything, all right? Now, we were talking, uh, spending a lot about what the SEC is doing. Where are the authorities? What is nobody actually trying to look at the huge criminal, illegal manipulation going on here with this stock? Well, actually, we are now tr seeing, you know, those new rules that are going to start going into effect in the next few weeks, starting this month. And yet, we still don't see the share price moving a lot in the direction we want it to do. Well, well, maybe earnings will be that. But my point is, anything so far that we put a lot of our attention on, I don't want to use the word fail to actually trigger the short squeeze, but it has been delayed a little bit because the market is evolving. The market is dynamic. And lately, since the beginning of this year and late last year, lots of people, me included, were talking about a lot how inflation would affect AMC stock price. Maybe what the Federal Reserve will do is actually something that will finally, finally force the short sellers into a corner and, you know, make them cover so that the share price can start jumping well we are not there yet but the likelihood of inflation and what the federal reserve could do will likely change based on what is happening in russia give me a second if you look at the market now okay we have oil jumping to 10 percent today gas jump natural gas jump to 20 percent if you take coal if you take you know wheat if you take the major commodities, everything just jumped. Why? Because what is happening in Russia not only is affecting Europe, but it's also affecting commodities as a whole. Why? Because Russia is kind of a wholesale store for all of these commodities. Pretty much every single major country in Europe and in the world has to go through Russia in order to get one or two or even all of these commodities I just cited. So if Russia is being dumped new sanctions day after day, well, it's no surprise that um, those commodities are jumping, especially oil. Now, keep in mind, what are the major components when it comes to calculating inflation? You have oil and you have rent. Those are the two major and groceries. So if wet that we use in bread and cereals and pasta is already going up high, then 
you can expect inflation to continue to go a little bit higher, right? So oil is already at 14 years high, 14 years high. And I don't think it's going to slow down anytime soon unless unless we have a major change into what is happening in Russia and Ukraine, all right? So um, just to say that if this is not resolved as soon as possible, inflation is going to continue to be a lot higher for a longer time. But the Federal Reserve might not do exactly what we expected them to do in March. Because if we have tension in Russia, the market and economies will not grow as expected, meaning they will be a lot more reluctant to increase interest rates as quick and as fast and as aggressive as they would have done, all right? Because you don't want to increase interest rates and break everything, including economy, the job market, and the stock market in the process, all right? So we know all we all know what increasing interest rates will do for the short sellers all right so maybe you know inflation or what the federal reserve will do will not necessarily do what we expect it to do uh but so now what we do, we do have left what we do have regulations well um those regulations might take time to actually have the effect we want them to have so bottom line is if you are trying to stick and to put a lot of your hopes into one single event, well, it may not happen because nobody knew one month ago that Russia and markets will be pulling back drastically because of Russia invading Ukraine. We all thought that, oh, it's not going to happen. It's not, it's not going to happen. Well, it's happening. All right. And anybody's trying to distance themselves from Russia. So just to say that to finish the market and events, what we call black swan is really something that you didn't see happening and when that comes it has a major impact on upside on the downside i mean we had corona last year you know we had uh, the delta variants we have um pandemic as a whole now we have inflation now we have the i mean just to say that just be patient that's the bottom line be patient because it is not because it's not happening yet or hasn't happened yet and things are keep 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 changing that it doesn't mean, I mean, necessarily, it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. The thing is, this is a system we're trying to go against. And AMC is one of kind of a symbol of that, you know, a, a, a fight. But we have pretty much everything in our favor. So it's just a matter of time. Just be patient. And when it comes, you will know it.